flats here, ready to find some awesome shells, maybe some cool sea life. Let's go and see what cool uh, things we can find out here. There's absolutely no way. Never try to touch them, just bear. We're way to Harvey Bay right now and we're about an hour and a half away so we're gonna stop off and let Peter do some wheeze and that. And we found this little like, it's actually a massive cherry tomato bush just out here in the middle of nowhere. There's no houses or nothing. So let's go check it out. It's all cherry bush. flats out here are big gutters or shell piles just like this one so in nine out of ten of these gutters out here are these massive shell piles don't know if you can see it all through the water there um, but yeah it's just piles just like that just underneath the sand full of shells and sometimes there might be a big old bale of shell sticking out and there's a lot of live urchins just like this who actually cover themselves in shells so that's a hundred percent live urchin very spiky this guy definitely don't want to stand on him that's why i've got shoes out here today so uh yeah that's what we're looking for out here it's a lot of fun there's definitely shells out here like cone shells and that sort of thing but uh yeah it's a bit of fun this is the first gutter that we've hit nothing in there walk down here look at that look at the condition of that i haven't touched it at all got peter here as well I'm really praying that that is a whole shell because it looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, cool. Look at that condition. It's only a small fella, but heck, that is beautiful. Oh, yeah, definitely. Best one I've ever found. Might not be the biggest. Oh, we've been here for like 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, look at the spines. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that so cool, man? Big but I'm used to saying big baler when I find a big baler. But that's so cool. I don't know if I'd rather find a smaller, colourful one like that or a big, older one. I that. that is so cool, isn't it? Awesome, guys. Well, we've got a lot more gutters to hit. And then once we're done out here... We're gonna go out onto the sand and search for other shells, but that is awesome. Ew. There are more piles now, and I wanna give you guys a better shot of it. It's a bit hard to see how clear the amount of shells there are in these piles because of the wind, but look at it. This whole thing is filled with shells. Isn't it just nuts? Can't believe that. Let's see what else we can find. Coming out further and closer to the water here, we might have a big urchin, not sure if, if, oh, if it's going to be alive or dead. Holy, it is massive. Look at the size of this guy. Um, very hard to tell. No, yeah, he's, he's alive, I'd say. He's got an open top there, though. That's not a good sign. But yeah, he's definitely alive. Let's chuck him back in, hey? Let's put him over here. Love finding these guys. They're everywhere out here too. All right, this looks good for you. There you go, buddy. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Not interested, mate. There you go, mate. Have a look. Hey, don't be careful. Hey, flip your ears back. Look how dense this pile of shells is right here. So we, wait. What is that? Oh my. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I was about to lose my mind. That would have been super nice. Anyway, that's so sad. We've got a big pile of shells banked up over there. Oh, we've actually got a big urchin there. And we have a big pile of shells banked up there. But well, we're going to go the one closest to us. That is so sad. 
And there's actually a pile in here. But let's check out this urchin. So we've got two pretty cool things here. We have a giant starfish there, but look, that is a whopping sand dollar. Oh, look at that break in it. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna keep it. And in fact, talking about sand dollars, one of my friends here in Harvey Bay told me a spot for sand dollars. So we're gonna go check that out later this afternoon. I'm definitely gonna keep that though. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Just move out of the sun for a sec. Yeah, now grab it. it. Should be very gentle. Yep. Always put. Try to put something under your hand in between it. Whoa! Oh, yeah. That's giant. So yeah, never try to touch them. Just bare hands. That is massive. Holy! But yeah, look. That whole thing is perfect. But the main bit in the center. Isn't that so rude? Drop a comment, guys. Pray for me to find one this afternoon at the other beach. Let's give it a wash off. I'm gonna put that big old star in the water here. That's massive, mate. That is enormous. Yeah, look at that thing, come on. Look, baby, right in the middle, not a single break. Oh, well, yeah, we'll find one, for sure. See what else we can find then. Look at the is. size of you! Do you want to grab it or what is eat us? What Don't is break it? it. Look at that. Oh, wow. yeah! It's even got a little face. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's two in like two meters though. How crazy is that? Let's give that one a wash. Can you grab that? Also, I just picked that up. That's what Imogen told me about that sand dollar. So we'll wash that as well. All right. We'll give him some water in a sec. Um, but yeah, let's wash this off. There's for sure more around here. This, just as we were washing these two out, look at that one. Where? No way. All right, you grab that if you want, but I'm gonna grab this. Big sand dollars. Remember guys, I've never found sand dollars before, only micro ones. Oh, look, seriously, can you grab those two? I'm gonna wash this off. Sand dollar heaven, guys. Yes, it's whole. Look at that thing. Baby, look how beautiful. We've never found oh, sand dollars. Cool. I've been to this beach probably, well, not this beach, but Harvey Bay beaches probably 20 to 30 times. Never found sand dollars. Knew they were around here, but not this big. Yes. Is that another one? Are you kidding me? Let's get, let's get them into the sun here. In the sun. Wash them off in the sun. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all these sand dollars. Uh, probably won't keep that one. Yeah, we'll leave that one. Same with that one. Look at that one, it's got a little face. Look at that, guys. Oh, I love that. There's for sure more. We only just got to this pile. Wow. Let's see what else we got. Got a little baler shell, maybe. Look at this. Check out that color and pattern. You want to see this, come and have a look. Look at that. That's insane. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Holy That's cow. That's one of the best shells, if not the top three best shells I've ever found. 100%. Oh. Holy. That's just incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. Now, let's find a big one of these. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is heaven right here. We're out here in these piles and out in these sand flats here to find the good stuff. Uh, we're pretty much just leaving all the boring stuff like the pectins and that. But look at this. Might have another perfect one. Yeah, cool. Beautiful, perfect sand dollar. Awesome. And you wouldn't believe it. Look, we got another one here. But it is broken, unfortunately. We are keeping the broken ones because we never find sand dollars. But uh, yeah, it's just incredible. Look at this. There is another one. Another sand dollar. Imogen's found something too, just wait. Let me grab this one. Oh, look at that. How incredible are these sand dollars? Let's put them all out here. Yeah, one sec, we'll look at that one. But yeah, look at the sand dollars that we've found here. Look at the perfect ones. Can you put yours here as well? 
Look at these. These are the perfect ones we've found so far and we still have like four big gutters where these are found to go. Oh, isn't this just incredible? Never ever find sand dollars. Here even, these are rare for us to find. Size of that guy. Having fun or what, Peter? You see what else? All right, Imogen's found a spindle. Mm. Look at that, dude. Whoa, that might be my best ever. Wow, completely empty. That's just sand in there. See if I can get it out, please. Yeah, look at that. Spindles and sand dollars. That's the title. Spindles and sand dollars for the day. And we've still got like five or six more broken ones in the bag. All right, let's see what else we can find. Pretty exciting down here. Take a look. This is what we've been looking for today. From the outside, it looks pretty dirty, but it's got some amazing yellow color underneath it. All right, let's check it out, eh? Come on, guys, pray for me in the comments below. Let's check it out. Come on, come on. Yeah, that looks like a whole baler. Woo! Wow, look at it all. Wow, <laughs> look at that, eh? They're cleaning the Wow, bath. that definitely needs a clean, but. It's a big baler. That's a big baler. And that's my third one ever. How about this day, eh? Isn't that incredible? Massive sand dollars, big baler shell, small gem baler shells. It's got a tiny hole there, actually. Wow. Still very exciting. <laughs> How cool is that, eh? Yeah. Big old baler shell. That'll actually be used in our shell cleanup video as well, which is coming very soon. We've been saving up shells that we find, dirty shells, and uh, we're going to do a big cleaning video of it. Look at the spires right there. That's what we're out here for. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. Hopefully, we can find a gem one. Another sand dollar. Check it out. Imogen found the. Oh, wow. that's harsh. Let's wash it off though. And there's actually another one right here. That looks massive. I'm gonna lift that one up. Hold on, hold on. Nice, we'll keep that for sure. Cool, get a really close up of it. Big star on that one. All right, let's check this one out. I wanna lift this one. Oh, that looks good too. Yeah, nice. That's actually, is that the biggest one? Yeah, for sure. Look at that. So that's how many sand dollars we got so far. There's more in the bag. Oh yeah, there's broken, more broken ones in the bag. How about that, eh guys? Never did we think we'd find sand dollars this big anywhere here in Australia. Unbelievable. This beach just always holds something new. Always. Made it all the way out to the beach out here. Hopefully you can hear me all right. But uh, yeah, the tide is still dropping and there's more piles out here. So we've been looking for sand dollars, more of them. Out. Come and look. That is freaking massive. And there's another one there, and a nice little clamshell there. There's one down there as well. But yeah, let's grab up this sand dollar here. Come close, and we'll check it out. Get a nice shot of that. Oh, look at the size of it. Yeah, that can be <laughs> Look at it though. Isn't that wow. giant? It's huge. Right here in the shoreline. <laughs> That's our biggest one for sure. Look at that What's sand dollar. Look at that. Yeah, look, there's another one here. Oh, the cord. <laughs> look, isn't that just incredible? Sorry for my bad filming, everyone. <laughs> Sand all is everywhere here right now. Wow. Right on the shore here. Hopefully a croc doesn't get me. <laughs> there's probably not many out here, since so we're not yeah. too far up. So there's another... Then we really saw one back here, didn't we? Yeah, we saw one here, just oh, before there, we here. started. Yeah, look at that. That's just incredible. There's just so much stuff out here. Line them up. Look at the size of that thing. Look at it compared to my face here. Massive <laughs> sand dollars out here. I'm loving it. It's awesome. Now this big baler shell right here is the one that we found in one of the previous episodes of our Harvey Bay trip. Yeah, I know, absolutely massive. It's got to be a big break in it though. Look right over here. Really hoping that that's a whole baler shell. Or if it's even a baler shell, I'm pretty sure it's the perfect size for it. Let's give it a crack though, hey? Oh, it's massive actually. Holy, I might get my glove out for this so I don't cut out of my pocket now. I was pretty smart bringing them. But yeah, let's check it out. I can dig around it so much easier now. Without getting cut. 
they any other shells? Oh, you guys probably can't see much. But I really don't want to break one this size. Oh my gosh, look how thick you are. That's a whole bale of shell. Oh, look how thick that thing is. That weighs probably about two and a half, three kilos. Oh my gosh. That is a whole bale of shell. Look at that. Super old, as you can tell. Look at it. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one. Oh, that is just freaking massive. Wow. Would you look at you? Look at that like accent on it. That's obviously from a long time of sitting in the sea. But look how thick that is. That is just in oh I can't even speak. Look, it's a whole bale of shell, guys. I'll absolutely take it, of course. I just can't believe how thick it is. You'd think a shell being this, like, thick would just be enormous. I'm losing my mind right now. That's just nuts. Got to get a photo with both of these, eh? <laughs> get all that sand out. Look at that. Even compared to that one. Look at those two lips. That one's about that thick, and that's about that. Wow, let me get a photo with these two, eh? So glad I came back out. That's two balers for the day. Let's get a nice I shot with these. I don't have my tripod or any of my camera stuff out here with me, but check it out. Look at that. Two giant baler shells right here. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the size of these. Look, it might not be gem quality like I'm looking for, but that pattern is just incredible, isn't it? I love it for that. It's even got the original yellow colouring on the inside there. That's sick. That's second bailer of the day, so let's try to find some more. I actually spotted this one down here. Again, we're way at the front because there's just so much here at the front. More sand dollars and everything. But yeah, look at the quality of this. This is a zebra volute here. What do you guys think? I reckon it might be live. Comment down below. Do you think it's going to be a live shell, empty shell, broken? All right, let's check it out now. Oh, oh, whoa. Is it? I can't tell. Let's wash it out. And, no, nah, that's empty. Oh, Holy. That's, cool. that's the best you've Oh, ever 100%. Had. Look at that tip. Wow. That's incredible. Zebra Volute, definitely the best that's one I've ever found. Look at that thing. Just as we're looking at that. Another sand dollar. Got to show you guys. That's a big one. Cool. Freak, yeah. Yeah, massive. Look at the size of it. That's just... I that's, was about to step on it and then I, really? I saw like the shine of it. That's for sure gem, I reckon. Wow. Cool. Awesome, guys. Loving it. Subscribe if you are new. We also give away a huge box of seashells every single month to one lucky subscriber. It's completely free. So yeah, it's just a way of saying thanks. All right, let's see what else is Look around. That. that sure is a baler shell right there. Is it any good? Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Got a couple of holes in it, but hey, we've scored today on shells. Let's keep uh, keep searching. It's actually got really nice um, spires on it too. Pretty cool, take a quick look at it. Nice. All right, beach, and in all of Harvey Bay, there's absolutely no cowrie shells. Look at this down here. Look at that. That is a live cowrie shell. But what are you doing out here? I have no idea what type it's called exactly, but I've only ever found one shell of it uh, at my local beaches and ever. Look at that guy. I'm very surprised he's even alive out here because this is sand. He's going to get bogged in here get sunken down in there and not be able to get back up. That's how so many of them at home die. Guys, if you know what this one is called, comment down below. Isn't it beautiful? How cool is that? Never ever, I've only ever found one uh, very old cowrie shell out here. What is it, Peter? Yeah, so that's really interesting. So different. Always something new out here. Found about 15 to 16 uh, sand dollars. These are all the good ones here, and we've got all the broken ones in the bag, but we're gonna be showing you guys a lot different shells now in this video. Don't wanna focus all on uh, big sand dollars, even though they're incredible. So look at this strombus here. 
Looks fantastic. Yeah, nice. It's even got a bit of a curvature to it. Pretty cool. The amount of shells that we get out here on these flats, it's just incredible. Like, there's scalp, there's just every shell you can imagine, except cowrie shells. Look at this pectin here. Pretty cool. Love it out here. It's just so cool. Look at this scallop here. There's another different one. Here's another flat scallop. There's just so much. We love it out here. We've got it all to ourselves. We've got another different shell here. Sometimes that I don't really show much because they're just everywhere here. But this is a hammer clam. A lot of people have very different opinions about it. Personally, I love them. I think they look like a big croc. Isn't it cool? Nice silver on the inside. But uh, yeah, they're everywhere. In fact, there's another one right there. Pretty cool though. Probably won't keep it. I've got like six or seven at home. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find out here in the desert. Boy, did we score. Let's go home, lay out all of our finds, and see what we got. I got blisters galore. We are starving. We are super tired. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, guys. Here is everything that we found in today's adventure. I can't. Even, I don't even have words for this. We just got absolutely jackpotted today we found sand dollars giant sand dollars this is australia we are not in florida guys how incredible are these sand dollars just blew our mind today the biggest one that we found i believe is that one but as you can see it's pretty old uh we did find a couple of cool ones though like this one here he fixed himself so that's pretty cool also guys i forgot to mention while we were finding them you can tell when a sea, uh, it's not, well, I guess it's a sea urchin. You can tell when a sand dollar is dead, when it's white and, blin and been bleached. Uh, hopefully I'll find another one tomorrow that might be live and I can show you. They have all like millions of legs on them and they're usually brown. So that's Found a it. sand dollar that is live or dead. Anyway, so yeah, that one's fixed itself up. But the best one I would say is probably this one right here. Super clean, beautiful both sides just amazing uh, we have that one there as well that's probably next up got to be careful with those but yeah some of these will also be featured in the upcoming shell cleaning video like this one we'll definitely try to get that guy cleaned up maybe that one and yeah uh, we'll definitely be cleaning up this baler and that baler there we found this baler right at the end there look at the size of it super super thick just an incredible shell. That one's gonna come out really cool. I really like that weird oldish pattern that it has there. But yeah, then we had a beautiful gem uh, zebra volute there. Then we had this absolute gem of a baby bale or a baby Meloa amphora. That's what they're called, Melo amphora. Scientific name, but uh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that just incredible? Wow, definitely one of my best finds ever, I reckon. Then we had this baler here. Of course, that was actually the first find of the day. Just awesome. This one will also be featured in the cleaning video because once when it dries, it has a lot of excess calcium on top of it. So we'll be cleaning that up as well. Had that nice spindle that Imogen found. Definitely my best one ever, 100%. But uh, yeah, <coughs> we absolutely scored today. Also found this one out on the sand flats. Didn't film it, but yeah, pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, yeah, subscribe. But um, yeah, we actually did keep quite a lot of broken sand dollars because we just never ever get to find sand dollars. But I think we have about a dozen uh, whole sand dollars. So we even got some little ones here, some little ones there and so on. But man, I'm just so thrilled on them, hey. Absolutely scored today. Got the big balers. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.